So are you all right? Nope, I'm not all right. Is there anything I can do? No, thank you, Frisco. I'm sorry I snapped at you earlier. Oh, hell. We all have our problems. Yes, we certainly do. Thank you for the offer. But this one I have to handle on my own. Alright, uh, handle this. Bye. Everything's splendid, Robert. Yes. Oh, well, Duke's doing various things, trying to get back on his feet. But you know how that is, don't you? It's been hectic at headquarters, yes. I've been run off my feet. No, she hasn't left for school yet. She's still here. You want to speak to her? Okay. Thanks for calling, Robert. It's your father. And don't forget he's calling from Australia. It's very expensive. Everything's fine? Yes, everything's fine. Hi, Daddy. How are you? That's good. And Holly? She did? Oh, send her my love, too. Oh, me? I'm just... Give it here. Hello. No, she's just upset. She misses you terribly. We weren't expecting your call, Robert. We're all fine. Yes. Send my love to Holly, too. Thanks for calling. Bye. Oh, darling, come here. Help. It's all right, sweetheart. Give me a hug. There, there. It's all right. Good morning, Duke. Good morning. Will you make sure that the new wine order arrives on time? Well, I called yesterday and they promised. Call again today. Just make sure. All right. What are you doing here? I thought I made it clear I didn't want to see you again. Janet insisted on come. Don't not here. I want you to get away from Port Charles and you stay away. Hi, morning, Frisco. Hey, how you doing, Sean? I'm pretty good. You uh, seen Anna? Oh, she's in the interrogation room. Oh, I wouldn't want to interrupt her when she's interrogating a suspect. She should be back pretty soon. Oh. Using the WSB computer, huh? Mm-hmm. HDI. Dr. Greta Engstrom. What's going on there? Seems to have been a break-in, Sean. Happened the other day when I was... Oh, Hi, Sean. Hey, oh, you got a couple of minutes? Uh, well, one maybe. I've got to get a file and get back to interrogation. Oh, this will only take a minute anyway. How about having dinner with you tonight? Tonight? Yeah, just two of us. Um... I'd be rotten company, Sean. All right, <laughs> rotten or not, I insist. I think you need an old friend, and uh, I'm it. Yes, you're an old and dear friend. So it's yes to dinner? Yes. <laughs> Let's make it an early dinner. All right. And thank you. You're welcome. I live this way. Hello. Glad you're doing that, Sean. Yeah, I think she needs it. Uh, you started to tell me about the HDI burglary. I did? Yeah. I'd like oh. to hear more. That was a component intended for Dr. Greta Ingstrom's microprocessor that was taken from the storage area. Now, the good doctor doesn't want to tell me what the purpose of the component is. Interesting. Uh, then you need to know, right? Well, it usually helps to know exactly what you're looking for, what it does, in order to find the right direction to look in. You're right. Did she say why she didn't want to discuss the missing component with you? No. Very secretive. Well, maybe she has to be. I was over at the TV station when she was interviewed by Tiffany. It wasn't easy. The doctor didn't want to discuss her business in public. Well, maybe she doesn't. What kind of information are you looking for? Something that'll substantiate my gut feeling that there's more here than a stolen component. seems to be in this very deep depression. I mean, we've been having a lot of good business at the club and he doesn't seem to care about it. 
Now, if he's having some problems with his family, with his sister and his aunt, I think that maybe... Well, I think that that's his concern, don't you? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to snap at you like that. It's not very fair. Well, I can see it was wrong for me to come here. I gather you already know what I'm no, talking it's... about. Felicia. I do appreciate your concern. I appreciate everybody's concern. Man, I don't know about this report on the HTI break. Hi, honey. Um, what is it? It's just not conclusive. I don't think it can be without some government clearance. You can help on that? Well, I can try. Vague suspicions are not my idea of good reports. What are you doing here? Forget it. Well, what? What is it? Felicia came here because she's worried about Duke. I'm worried about you too, Anna. Well... I must say that uh, I'm with Felicia. I'm worried about you too, also. I suppose I should tell you that uh, Duke and I probably aren't going to remain engaged. Really? It's gone that far, huh? Yes. Well, that should come as a surprise to a lot of your friends. I'm, I'm very unhappy about it myself. Anna. Frisco and I got off to a very bad start when we first met each other, didn't we? Yeah. It's been downhill ever since, but it's fun. <laughs> this is final, Frisco. I'm afraid. I have a meeting that I've got to get to, so if you'll excuse me. I really appreciate your friendship. Very much. Was that ever that bad for us? Mm, no, I think it got better after we got serious with each other. Yeah. Well, there's one ray of hope. I heard Sean talking to her earlier, and they scheduled a dinner tonight. Maybe they'll have a good talk. Well, good for Sean. What's up? Just had the president of HTI on the phone. They found the missing equipment. They found it? Well, it was never missing. It was in the warehouse all the time. Accidentally hidden from sight. Accidentally hidden? Mm-hmm. You can find all that out when you speak to Mr. Denby. Well, if they found it, what does he want to see me for? He says that there's a few questions, and he thinks a police officer should look into it. Wow, well, that's a switch. Now they want us to look into things. Exactly. I must say the change in attitude is very puzzling. Yeah, I know. Yes. This case is a real oddball, you know? I know, yes. First they stiff on me, and now they're welcoming me. Maybe that's too strong a word. I don't think so. Mr. Denby was very friendly. Duke, you should have a long day in on the dock. Yeah, I like the physical work. A little more than an hour until we open. Did the wine shipment arrive? Yes, it did. Good. I wanted to ask you something else, too, about... Oh, hello. A uh, Duke, dear. Camellia has something to say to you. I don't think I want to hear it. Excuse me, I have to go see the chef. I've heard it, Duke, and I think you had better. If there's no one around yet, I'll leave you two here alone for talk. The only thing I want to hear from you is that you have come to your senses and Janet has convinced you you can fantasize. No. Then there's nothing I want to say. I Duke, Janet has convinced me of one thing, and if you could bring yourself to stay another moment, you may want to hear it. I want to hear that there have been some changes, that there's been some progress out of this mess. That's what I want to hear. Well, I don't know what you'll think. Well, we'll see. Go on. Two things that I've said to you I maintain are true. I am not your sister, and I do love you. I don't know what you and Janet achieved. Please but... hear me out. Janet has made me realize that you don't love me, at least not now. Well, that's a risk, but I'm encouraged. You might even be a little sympathetic. Perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, I can be. You know, when we, when we first met, I have to admit, I was, 
I was very taken with you. Now, that was... That was four long years ago, and... Well, yeah, I could have fallen in love with you. No. I'll be honest. I did fall in love with you. Thank God it was a... It was an innocent love. And didn't have the time to blossom into a real love affair. You know, the most important thing now is you realize that love is over. It's gone. Anna's my love now. She's my whole life. And if you still care for me, if you still have any feeling whatsoever, and I think what you first felt all that time ago was just an immature crush. If you still have any feeling at all, then you will help me. You will help me to go on with my life with Anna and her little child. Help us. You're young, Camelia. You're also very beautiful. You have a fine profession. You could have a full life for yourself. Maybe, maybe up in Canada. Or maybe anywhere in the world. I mean, it's immaterial. I think the important thing is though, that it's out of Port Charles. Get away from Port Charles as soon as possible. Are you taking this very seriously? You're taking it very well. That makes me happy. Duke. Yeah. I still love you. I can't help that. But I promise you that I, I will... I will try to help you if I can. There's just one thing that I, I don't want to do. What is that? I don't want to leave Port Charles now. I have a good job and, and, and I'm making friends. It, it's the first time that I, I feel like a whole person in the real world. And, but I, I promise that I, I won't get in the way between you and Anna, I, I promise. You don't believe me? It's a risk. But I won't be anymore. Well, even going this far, I must admit it's progress. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, fine. I think I've just about run out of small talk about uh, Greta Engstrom. <laughs> I'm convinced, though, that she can move objects with her mind. That's called uh, kinetic energy, isn't it? Yes, yes, like they said. Well, I was certainly glad to hear that uh, she unsettled Frisco, too. That means I'm not the only one. You enjoying your dinner? It's lovely. I'm enjoying you, Sean. <laughs> you may not very shortly. You want to talk about Duke, don't you? Yes, I do. You know, I care for both of you very much. May I ask you a direct question, Evan? Why can't you and Duke work things out? Well, I'll try to give you a direct answer. I was hoping you said you couldn't. That way there might be some hope. Duke's not giving me the whole story about Camellia. Can't be sure of that. Well... I'm convinced that if he did, I, I would probably break up from him anyway. You see, I know enough to believe that there is something beyond all this confusion about being brother and sister. It's, uh, it's something Duke is afraid to tell me, and he won't tell me. I can't go on living in the dark like this, Sean, because there's more than just me to worry about. I've got my daughter to consider, too. And Robin's been on a roller coaster for the past few months and it well that's got to stop and the only way that it'll stop is if I if I stop seeing Duke and um, get on with my life I've got my job and I've got my daughter that's a lot yes and it'll just have to be enough one more thing yes you're uh Love withstood the mob and Duke's being in prison. 
Why can't it weather this too? It just hasn't been able to. So I assume that it can't. We should go. Can we? I'm about to make a fool of myself. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Things going tonight. Oh, business is going very well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, buy a drink? Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Sean called a little while ago and he wants to meet with you this evening. Okay, I'm here. What about the drink you mentioned? So it's too late. No, I, I didn't want to talk on the phone anyway. Um, I know that you're very busy, but I, I, I would like to see you tomorrow. I don't think that's possible. This is very important. I'm so sick of this. I'm so tired of little chats and little meetings. I'm tired of games. I said this was important. If you have something to say to me, you tell me it right now. Get it over with. Please, please, don't be angry with me. Don't you dare tell me not to be angry. What are you thinking of? I'm more than angry. I'm hurt and I am torn apart. I don't want any more of this, Camelia. Good night. No, please, don't hang up. You're hurt. Well, so am I. Perhaps even more than you know. Don't tell me you know how I feel. Please don't even try. All right, all right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What is all this, anyway? I have to ask you to see me tomorrow, please. Just see me. All right. I'll see you tomorrow, Camelia. But Frisco always gives crazy. You're my talk about starting a family. Well, when she says the word family, I envision about ten kids sitting on my lap. But we could just have one and then we could discuss the matter. Well, Duke, we're not doing very well, are we? No, I appreciate your efforts. Lighten my mood. You certainly are good friends. Well, here comes another buddy of yours. Chris Scott, Sean. Sean. Hi, Duke. Just the man I wanted to see. I'd like to have a little chat with you. Should we grab a table? Well, there probably isn't one available. Well, as a matter of fact, that one right over there is reserved for me. I, uh, think of everything. Yeah, you do. Excuse me. Okay. Well, I hope Sean has better luck with him than we did. What do you suppose is really going on? So, in fact, you, uh, seem to be deluged with job offers. Well, I have a job in the docks. You know that. Yeah, I know that, but you're not going to get rich doing it. Yeah, the, uh, well, it takes some while before the club is out of the red and starts showing a profit. This is what job offers are my being deluged with. <laughs> Believe it or not, Lila Quartermain's pick a Lila business is becoming quite a big operation. In fact, today they uh, asked me if you'd be interested in lending a hand. That's very nice of them. I have something more important in my managerial position with the uh, profit sharing with my company. You can take care of their operation at the same time. So you have a big deal coming up with HTI. Heard of them? Yeah, recently. This could be very big, dude. Well, thank you for considering me. 
don't see an awful lot of enthusiasm there. It's not general knowledge yet, but I'm a friendly takeover of HTI. In fact, my shipping company will handle all the shipping, which that stuff is very delicate. So my company has to be a well-oiled operation. Yeah, I would imagine that. You've lost the impetus, haven't you? What impetus? I'm getting back in your feet, Anna. I take, uh, I take the marriages and down. Yeah, not much as Sarah. Uh, I'm close to Anna. You know, I know that. She's very fortunate to have a good friend like you. She also has another close friend, Robert Scorpio. He likes you. There's a Robin likes you. And she and Holly are probably the most important things in his life. I'd say Anna's a close third. And just what, what is this leading up to, Sean? What is leading up to is why don't you just clean this thing up, huh? Why don't you tell Anna exactly what the problem is with Camellia? I mean, come on, just lay it out there. Don't hold anything back, because if you do, you are going to lose her, man. At the same time, I don't want her to lose you. That's what I mean by cleaning it up. I can't do that. What do you mean you can't do that? Come on. Listen, why don't you just leave this alone? There's no solution to this. I am not going to do this. No, but I am. Well, Sean, you know how... here you are. I didn't think you could make it Oh, tonight. well, now we can all celebrate. Yes, Duke, would you like to join us? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> what was that? He's got some problems. Where's the waiter? We need some champagne. Did you all have an argument about something? No, as a matter of fact, I started off by offering him a job with us. Well, we will need some excellent people. Excuse me. Yeah, Sean, get bored, will you? Oh, sure. Let's go. Uh, excuse me. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A little celebration tonight? Well, they're in a celebratory mood, yeah. <laughs> so, are you and Tiffany fully committed to the HTI takeover? For better or worse, why? I just wondered. Sean! Excuse me. You're being awfully grim about something tonight. Yes, come join yes. the party! Excuse me. Okay. Uh, we need another check. We'll get one. Uh,